Psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune disease that you have for life, and there is no denying the cost of treating psoriasis can add up really quickly and balloon out of control depending on which type of treatment you get. For some, going to the dermatologist is not an option, despite it being the recommended way to treat psoriasis. So here are some options that you can try to heal psoriasis for free. If you find that this sounds too good to be true, it may very well be. But I will provide results from my own experience from this, and the results were quite surprising. The methods discussed here today are not miracle solutions. They are mostly from individual experiences and have no scientific proof that they will work. But when you run out of options, there is no harm giving them a try. A common way to tackle psoriasis is to make diet and lifestyle changes. When it comes to food, certain ones may cause flare-ups for people with psoriasis. A study in 2017 surveyed over 1,200 psoriasis patients asking questions on their dietary habits and the effect dietary changes have on their skin. This large number of responses were helpful in establishing commonalities among the participants which resulted in identifying common food triggers. The number of participants who reported improvements in their psoriasis was highest when they reduced alcohol from their diet, followed by gluten and nightshade. So if you wish to try healing your psoriasis for free, consider cutting out this food for a start. Personally, I find that alcohol makes my psoriasis itch, so I avoid it. It is also advisable to cut out highly processed food and foods with lots of sugar and additives. Additionally, a large number of participants reported that their motivation for dietary change was simply for better health, which brings us to the next free option, leading a healthy lifestyle. As part of an overall health benefit, adding in some exercise into your routine can be beneficial. Numerous studies have shown that exercise may help with psoriasis flares. When you have psoriasis, there are plenty of reasons not to exercise. Visible scales and flaking can be uncomfortable and make you self-conscious. It can be hard to motivate yourself to work out when you have psoriasis. But there are also plenty of reasons to make exercise a priority. For instance, exercise is known to provide anti-inflammatory benefits which can help to cut back on flares and help make treatments better. With regular exercise, you are also less likely to develop other health issues linked with psoriasis. Above all else, it can help to reduce the mental stress of having psoriasis. This is the main reason I started engaging in regular exercise because it helps to keep my mind clear and allows me to focus on other things apart from my psoriasis. This is a long-term condition that you need to live with so we need to be able to handle it over prolonged periods and stress will eventually build up regardless of how long you have had psoriasis for if your psoriasis coverage is widespread and there are huge patches and plaques vigorous exercise may be tough and may cause discomfort as my psoriasis spreads i reduced the intensity of my exercises and go for ones that have low impact on my body and joints such as cycling while the methods discussed here may seem insignificant or appear too simple and straightforward in the world of medicine, I would like to share my own experience with it. During my most recent flare-up, I had a long 5-month wait before my first visit at the dermatologist, that is 5 months without any medication or treatment options. So like many, I looked for an alternative and settled on trying to get a head start in my psoriasis healing journey by living a healthier lifestyle. Slowly as the months progressed, I started noticing, even if it was just a small, specific area, signs of fading. Eventually, it became quite obvious that it was clearing up and I could once again see my normal skin. I can't say for sure that leading a healthy lifestyle alone caused these changes, as there could be many factors that are unaccounted for. As to why I decided to go on treatment despite having some positive results showing, there are two primary reasons. The first is the healing I observed were only on my legs, while the other parts of my body has yet to fade. And the second reason is simply my preference to utilize as many forms of treatments available to me as possible, in order to increase the chance of achieving remission. 
Over the years, my psoriasis has gone into remission and relapsed multiple times. I understand and is aware of the cycle, so I much rather try what I can to increase the speed of remission and the length of staying in it. I am not adverse to different types or different approaches to treatment. If there are sufficient evidence to suggest positive results from actual psoriasis patients and the dermatologist did not raise any major concerns, I am happy to try it if I am comfortable with it. Which is why I have also tried traditional Chinese medicine for two years, dabbled with acupuncture and even tested natural home remedies. Some I have had good experience with and others that made my psoriasis worse. Understanding the risk of treatment is important, but in the case of changing our lifestyle, adding in exercise and eating healthy, even if it does not help with your psoriasis, you may still end up healthier at the end of it.